it's so cool to, 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 to just be together and to see the movie together. And we were waiting for so long time, like two years. Yeah, like two, yeah that, that was strange. To, yeah, because yeah, that was two and a half years ago or three years ago? Yeah, yeah, years ago. yeah something so, like that. It felt climactic and um, not nerve-wracking, but as a half American, half French person, mm -hmm. to see a full American like Wes Anderson was a deep love for not only the country right. of France but French cinema, express that in his art and to be an audience of French people, it was a, it was it was like. But then to see the reception at the end was a yeah. big exhale because it, it seemed like the film was well appreciated by the audience. But uh, I was well aware of the. Global and yet bordered uh, themes in the room. And I'm guessing, um, you know, you probably haven't had much opportunity to put a gold suit on in the last uh, year. Yes. Silver? <laughs> you did? Silver? Gold? Oh, is it, yeah. was it gold? Is it silver? I don't know. We, we've been debating. I, I was debating with one of my buddies last night. No, I've not gotten a chance to do that. Secretly, I was doing it every weekend alone. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> Like home Zoom. Yes, I'm on Zoom alone. Zoom of one, <laughs> trying on suits, broken. It began as a holiday. Eager to escape a bright future on the Great Plains, Arthur Howitzer Jr. transformed the series of travelogue columns into the French Dispatch, a factual weekly report on the subjects of world politics, the arts, high and low, and diverse stories of human interest. First of all, it was the pleasure to route to see the film again. This film is incredible the second time, even more. There's so many things. There's so much so going on. Stories. And I feel like I need to see it at least five times to really see it. Because I still, even me, I mean, I'm like, what, oh, I can't, I, I, did I do that? It's mm. like, I, I mm. yeah. Mm. And the, the public. Yeah. How they, um, vibrate during the film and at the end during the, with the credits, the, the, these applause that wouldn't stop. And then there was the music of Eric Sandespla sometimes. And then when there was the whole crew coming back, they would just like if they were applauding also the, yeah. the work of everybody. He assembled a team of the best expatriate journalists of his time, Berenson, Sazerac, Kremens, Roebuck Wright. These were his people. Just try to make it sound like you wrote it that way on purpose. Well, my room, I had to, pa I had to pass through the editing suite to get to my room. So I, and there's a great editor, Andy, mm -hmm. and I would kind of just like poke, peek around. And I saw some of the Adrian Brody short before I started working on mine, which gave me all the confidence, not that I was in that short, but just to see Wes's style, his mm -hmm. thing in effect in this story, as opposed to Grand Budapest or Rushmore, these things that I love but are subsequently terrifying because you think, why does he want me to ruin this thing? Um, it, yeah, it was, a, it was a marker of uh, confidence or something. And as Lena was saying, the other interview we just did, I've never been in a community, you know, where you're strict, you know, where you're literally in a house uh, together, you know, which is great, which is really great.